morning, my dear students. Today, we are going to finish this chapter. Significant figures was our last topic. Let us revise the significant figures topics from these small questions. Already, you have done your assignment also on significant figures, but still, and it will be a quick recap for you because the next topic will be based on the significant figures only. Let us start. How many significant figures are there in the measured values for? I hope you could remember the rules of the significant figures. There is a measurement. 227.2 grams. All the digits present here are non zero digits. Yes or no? All non zero digits are significant. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4. So, how many number of significant figures are here? 4. Sometimes the questions can be asked in this way How many insignificant figures are present? in the measurements. How many insignificant figures are here? Zero. Got the point? Significant figures are one, two, three, four according to the rules. Insignificant figures are zero because all non-zero digits are significant. All right? No. But two. 3600 grams. Is there any decimal point here? No. And the last zeros are called trailing zeros. Right? What are those called? Trailing zeros. So trailing zeros are insignificant when there is no decimal point in the measurement. You know this rule. So there is no decimal point and these are insignificant and number of significant figures are 2. Only 2 non-zero digits 3 and 6. Questions can also be asked in this way. Listen my dear students. How many zeros are insignificant? 2 zeros are insignificant. That's why we remove them. Okay. Now last question in this. Question is, how many significant figures are present? How many significant figures are present? If the number is less than 1, there is a rule. What is that? If the number is less than 1, less than 1 means it must be in terms of 0 points. Clear? So if the number is less than 1, all the zeros which are present left side of the first non-zero digit. This is the first non-zero digit. Left side of the first non-zero digit, 1, 2, 3 are insignificant. We will not consider them. And we will consider the other are significant figures. How many here? 1, 2. And this is the 0 which is present in between two non-zero digits. So I can say this 0 also significant. So total significant figures are here. Three significant figures are here. All right, my dear students. Let's have a look at the next question. How many significant figures are there in this measurement? And this is the measurement is called scientific notation. When the measurement is written in scientific notation, you can see, and this is called the base. What is it called? Base. And this is called order of magnitude. What is it called? Order of magnitude. Already we had discussed in the last class. In this case, if you want to find the significant figures and you need to eliminate this part. So there's no point in finding the significant figures here according to the rules. Only you need to find the significant figures at the base. Right? In the base, how many significant figures are there? 1, 2, 3. 
Y3 you know already. Clear? Tailing zero, trailing zeros are can be counted as significant figures when it is with the decimal point in the measurement. Okay, so total number of significant figures here in this question are three. All right, look at here. At the end of today's session, you will be getting a classroom assignment along with your online exam. Remember, right? There are 10 questions and 10 questions, almost 20 questions will be given as classroom assignment. Please keep your concentration 100% on this. How many zeros are significant in the following measured values? Right here also the following measured values. So it may be kilograms, it may be grams, it may be centimeters, meters, anything. But it is a measured value, right? How many is the zero? See, uh, this is important. Some of the students uh, in the last exam also I have found they are just finding the significant figures, whatever the value is given. But the question may be different. Always do not expect a direct question. But the question here is how many zeros are significant? How many significant figures in a number? That's not the question. How many zeros are significant? So here let's count. So these are the two zeros which are trailing zeros when the number is not with a decimal, they are not significant. Okay? These two zeros are not significant and this zero. This zero is significant because it is in between two non-zero digits. How many zeros are significant? Here how many? Only one zero. How many significant figures are here? Find out. How many significant figures are here? One, two, three. Three significant figures. But one zero is significant out of that. Clear? These two zeros are insignificant as the number is less than one. This is significant, significant, significant. Because trailing zeros, but the number is having decimal point, you can say they are significant. One, two, three. So three zeros are significant. And tell me what are the number of significant figures? How many number of significant figures are there here? So one, two, three, four, five. Five significant figures are here. Out of three are zeros which are significant. Total significant figures in this measurement is three. Out of three, one is zero which is significant. Okay, so that is next. Number of significant figures in a pure number 410. It's a, not a measurement. It's a pure number. Understand? It's not a measurement. It's a pure number. For example, so the question you see, that there may be a statement like mass of one object is equal to two times the mass of the another object. Understand? So mass of this pen is equal to two times the mass of another pen, whatever I have. So that 2 is called the pure number. So pure numbers always will have infinite significant figures. How many? Infinite fig significant figures. Remember, if I say there are four apples present on the table, the 4 is a pure number that will have infinite significant figures, my dear students. Okay. Now, a number of significant figures in a measured value 410. If you carefully hear, so if you look at here, there is a measured value they mention. That may be any kind of measurement, length, mass, time, anything. So irrespective of the smaller units and the bigger units, but it is a measured value. So measured value will have significant figures according to our rules because we have started our discussion with the measurement then we went for the significant figures all right clear for any measurement only according to its accuracy and precision there are some measurement for them significant figures we have started counting okay so as it is a measured value it will have significant figures according to the rules as it is a pure number, it will not have significant figures. It will, sorry, it, it will have infinite number of significant figures. So here how many? 
two significant figures because the zero is a trailing zero, but the number is not having decimal point. All right. Now, wait. If a calculated value is three point eight five four six grams, this is a calculated value. Contains only three significant figures. If see, if this is the value, contains only three significant figures. The two insignificant digits in it are so simple. Actually, how many significant figures are there in this measurement? One, two, three, four, five. Total five significant figures are there. But the question is, if this value contains only three significant figures. So that means you, you see you cannot keep only these three right by making these zeros we'll be keeping only 3.85 if this number need to contain only three significant figures the two insignificant digits are definitely the last two will be the insignificant digits right so what are those four and six are insignificant digits understand Clear? So now let's see there are some rules with respect to significant figures when you are multiplying two physical quantities and look at here when you are multiplying two physical quantities or when you are dividing two physical quantities there, is, there are some rules with respect to significant figures when you are adding two physical quantities and uh, when you are subtracting two physical quantities, there are some rules you need to focus with respect to significant figures. And let us discuss that. Well, uh, my dear students, look at the rules of arithmetic operations with significant figures. It is quite common and possible that the two physical quantities can be divided and multiplied. For example, let's take a length and breadth. If you want to find the area, you must multiply the length and breadth. So in that cases, as well as division cases, there is a force which is equal to mass into acceleration. If you want to find the acceleration, which is equal to force divided by mass. Here, two physical quantities you are dividing. In the previous case, two physical quantities you are multiplying. Both the physical quantities will have its own measurements. In those cases, how to find the final result with significant figures, with the proper significant figures. And don't think that with the rules of the significant figures, the topic is clear topic is finished no it's not like that so you can consider these are the two more rules in the significant figures because in the last year neat exam last year I mean this this year neat exam question paper you find there is a question based on this rules of arithmetic operations with significant figures when Two measured values are multiplied or divided. See here, multiplied or divided. There should be as many significant figures retained in the final result as there in the original number with the least significant figures. It's so simple. With a practical example, I'll tell you. You are dividing two physical quantities or multiplying two physical quantities. So simple. Dividing two physical quantities or multiplying two physical quantities. Finding the velocity of an object. Distance or displacement by time. Displacement is a quantity having some measurement. You can see 4.11 meter by time. Time is a quantity which is having its measurement which is 1.2 seconds. Displacement by time. You are dividing two physical quantities you will get the final result. When you are dividing two physical quantities, the final result you get, right? But it is not according to the significant figures rules. 
if you want to write it according to the significant figures rules at the most important point my dear students in the division or multiplication your final result must have the number of significant figures which are equal to the least significant figures in the individual measurements these are the two individual measurements right which is having the least significant figures this one here three here two understand so you have to write only two significant figures that's your final answer what is the final answer here 3.4 meters per second this is your final answer because according to this rule the final answer when you are dividing or multiplying two physical quantities final result must have the least significant figures from your measurements this is having 3 this is having 2 so least significant figures are 2 so your final measurement also must have two significant figures that's it is it simple when there is length is given breadth is given area you can find you will get a final value that final value must be having least significant figures either from here or from here let's see the next the rule. Next rule is obviously based on the addition and subtraction. We will add or subtract. The same thing. Well, one important thing is that two similar quantities we add. Two similar quantities we subtract. We cannot subtract from force and acceleration. We cannot subtract these two. Look at here. When two physical quantities are added or subtracted here addition and subtraction there should be as many decimal places written see this is completely about the decimal places and this is completely about the significant figures at least the significant figures there should be as many as decimal places retained in the final result as there in a number with the least decimal places here, least significant figures must be having in the final measurement. Here, least decimal places must be having by a final result. And look at here, there are three masses are added up here. One, two, three. Final result, I have got it as 1.227 grams. But according to the significant figure and this rule especially, your final result must be having least decimal places. Least decimal places of what? Least decimal places from this measurement, from this measurement, from this. Out of these three measurements, which measurement is having least decimal places? Tell me. Here, after the decimal, there are one, two, three digits. After the decimal, one, two, two digits. After the decimal, one digit. So this is called the least decimal places, right? So that means in your final result also, after the decimal, there must be one digit. That's it. See here? After the decimal, there must be one digit. That's it. This is your final answer. All right. Clear? Simple. Now, the last concept of the session as well as as well as the chapter rhyme rounding off uncertain digits rounding off the uncertain digits so till now from your lower classes till date you might be do doing this rounding off concept but there are some rules present in it let us discuss let's take an example of 3.78 simple 3.78 centimeters for example I want to round off this disease up to two significant figures so that's important while rounding off you should understand rounding off up to how many significant figures rounding off up to Two significant figures that means in your value there must be only two digits okay so the last digit whatever is present here that is called uncertain now now that is called uncertain so when you are rounding off the uncertain digits there are some rules to be followed 
that uncertain digit may be greater than 5. The uncertain digit may be less than 5. See, there are possibilities I am telling you. Including 0. Less than 5 means including 0. That uncertain digit, whatever you are thinking to rounding off, that may be equal to 5. Right? There are some rules. Simple rules. Let's concentrate here. 3.78. We are rounding it off up to two significant figures. Actually, there are three significant figures present here. We are rounding off up to two. Number is greater than 5. Simple. When the number is greater than 5, look at the preceding digit. Look at the preceding digit. The preceding digit must be raised by 1. 3.8 cm. Finished. This is your final answer. Alright, my dear students. Clear? Now, let's see if the number is less than 5. If the number is less than 5. 3.74. Simple. 3.74. If the number is less than 5, see, this is what we are going to round in now. If the number is less than 5, write the significant figures and the final value as it is. Just write as it is. Okay. Whatever may be the preceding digit, just write as it is. This is for the number is greater than 5 and this is for the number is lesser than 5. Now the most important point here. If the number what you are going to do the rounding of is equal to 5. So let me write here. It's 3.75 and 3.65. Look at here. Both possibilities are there. And preceding digit of this uncertain may be odd or maybe even. Maybe odd or maybe even. If the number is odd, just raise it by 1. Just raise it by 1. If the preceding digit before your uncertain digit is even, just write it as it is. Alright my dear students. Three rules are done. Just pass the video, look at the rounding of concept carefully, then let's solve these four example questions. So the four example questions, we are going to rounding off up to three significant figures. Up to three significant figures. Actually, there are four significant figures present in each example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright. Up to three significant figures we are going to round in off. Let's see. Last digit is at uncertain here because we are going to do round off the uncertain digits up to three. Look at here. This zero need to be dropped and the zero is less than five. Less than five means just drop it irrespective of the preceding digit even or or just drop it. So 2.52 is the final value after rounding off to three significant figures. Let's see here. 4.645. Five need to be dropped. When 5 need to be dropped, you should see the preceding digit is odd or even. Here the preceding digit is even. If it is even, as it is, we have to write. That means 4.64. The third one. 22.78. 8 is uncertain here. So it is greater than 5 example. When it is greater than 5, this is 8. What happens? Immediately, the preceding digit must be raised by 1. So, preceding digit raised by 1. 22 point. This is raised by 1 is 22.8. Last one. Last one. Just now we have discussed. Uncertain digit is 5. Just preceding digit is 
odd, it must be raised by 1. If it is even, as it is, we will write it. The preceding digit is odd, so let's raise it by 136.4. So that's answer. Clear? Already, students, the questions can be asked in this way. Listen. They give the force value, for example, so 14.5 Newton. Mass value 12.02 kilogram. We can find the acceleration which is equal to F by M. F by M. 14 by 14.5 by 12.02. You get some value, right? But you must round off that final answer up to the least significant figures. How many least significant figures are here? 1, 2, 3 here, 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So your answer must be having three significant figures. Whatever the answer you get, that must be rounded off up to three significant figures. In that way, questions will be asked. All right, look at here, my dear students. There is a length given and a breadth given. You need to find the area to appropriate significant figures. Length into breadth, we are multiplying two physical quantities and you should understand one important thing. When you are multiplying or dividing, the final result must be having the least significant figures. So I have got this value, but it must have least significant figures as I told you. So here there are three significant figures, here there are two significant figures. So I need to make in the final result must be two significant figures, right? But here there are one, two, three, four significant figures. I need to drop this nine. Understand? When I drop the, I need only two, one, two. So this need to be dropped irrespective of the other one. One, two I need, this need to be dropped. This is greater than, what is that? Greater than five. Whatever I need to drop, so that is having greater than five. When this value is greater than five, what we have to do? It's so simple. The preceding digit need to be raised by one. Understand, when the uncertain digit, whatever you are thinking to draw, if it is greater than 5, the preceding digit need to be raised by 1. So, let's raise this by 1. So, 61 centimeters square. So, 1, 2 significant figures is the least one and here also 2 significant figures we have got. Now, let's look at the next question here. It is based on the division. Force is given area is given, the significant figures and the pressure, right? So our aim is to find the final result of pressure with respect to the significant figures topic. Force per unit area is the pressure. So you have got and look at the value. 1.96666. In general, we write this as 2.0 Newton per meter square. Clear? Simple, right? So generally we write 1.966, you get 2. According to the significant figures, according to the rules, how we got 2, let's discuss here. So simple. How many least significant figures are here? 2. 1, 2. So simple. We need to drop this. When we want to drop this, this is greater than 5. When it is greater than 5, what we have to do? We need to raise the preceding digit by 1. When you raise the preceding digit by 1, so it will become 10. So your answer will be 1.1 something. So original answer is 1.966. So if you do in this way, you get 1.1. Is it true? 100% is wrong. How the value will decrease? Understand? So that's why you need only two significant figures 
6 need to be dropped which is greater than 5 so you need to raise the preceding digit by 1 so that that will be 2.0 newton per meter squares look at here this way questions will be asked now my dear students there are some class work questions pass the video and solve each of them right now and send me through the whatsapp and get prepared for your online exam based on today's topics and some previous topics also so that you will be aware and a quick recap is completely always goes on all the very best